I know. We'll be home soon, I promise. Jellyfish. In today's video, I'm really excited to introduce you to Thor. You just want treats though, don't you? <laughs> As for being a good boy, here you go. Oh. <laughs> Thor is the newest addition to the fluffy jellyfish family and I'm so excited to have him in our life. If you know anything about me, you will know that I am completely obsessed with cats. So having a cat again in our house and in our family is fantastic. I love him so much and I'm so glad to have a cat again. So today I thought I'd sit down and I'd tell you a little bit about Thor and introduce you to him properly. So Thor is four years old and well, roughly, we're not 100% sure as you'll find out in the story that I tell you. So friends of my parents happened to stumble across Thor on a busy intersection in um, Edinburgh and she, my mum's friend had seen him on her way to her mum's house and thought things were a bit odd that he was sort of on the intersection by himself he didn't have a collar but she didn't think too much of it until she came back later on and saw him again and he was still there and she was a bit worried so she decided to try and pick him up so he was really friendly and came right over to her so he, she knew like he wasn't a stray um, and she took him to her mum's house and her mum cared for him for a few days and during I think it was a period of about a month and maybe more than a month her mum looked after him and she put um, flyers all around the local area and contacted all the local vets and the local rescue centres and nobody got in touch um, nobody tried to claim him nobody got in touch with any of the vets or the rescue centers and because he was so friendly he wasn't astray and the vets checked him over and he was really healthy there was nothing wrong with him even to the extent where he's a little bit chunky <laughs> a little almost a little bit overweight but not quite there so he's definitely a well-fed cat and was obviously well taken care of he wasn't neutered and he wasn't chipped so that led them to believe that he was possibly a house cat and either a house cat that's maybe escaped or perhaps was owned by someone elderly and maybe they passed away I'm not really sure, it's, it's really weird that nobody got in contact with them um, I guess there's always a possibility that someone might still try and reach out and take him, take him back um, and that would be a little bit awkward for us because we love him so much and I really hope that doesn't happen but of course if someone got in touch and was like oh you've got my cat we would of course give, give him back um, but yeah I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen <laughs> but it is a really weird situation because they obviously took really good care of him and he was in really great condition so I'm, I'm really not sure what happened it's, it's an odd one um, but yeah we went to pick up Thor and now he's been living with us for about a month and he's the most affectionate cat really loves human company loves being around us he's quite playful as well we didn't think he was at first but he's very playful he's got like some feather toys and some little toys next to him like this one you're not gonna be playful now that i'm talking about it <laughs> he's got his little toys and yeah he's great he is such a fantastic cat and i'm so glad to have him in our life so i was really excited to introduce him to you guys today so because of his background we've decided to keep thor as an indoor cat and i think it's the right thing to do i'm still a little bit divided on the argument of indoor and outdoor cats and i might make a video about that in the future to talk about that debate and you guys can hear my thoughts on it and maybe hopefully share your thoughts with with me as well um and yeah, there's a bunch more things about Thor's care that I would love to share videos about in the future, but today's post is just an introduction so you get to meet him. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to doing is harness training and leash training Thor. I don't know how it's going to work out because he is an older cat and it's much easier to do when they're kittens, but he seems to want to go outside, sort of. He sort of hovers around the door when we come in and out, and he likes sitting at the window and watching the birds, so I feel like he's definitely got an interest in the outdoor world. And hopefully that means he'll manage to be able to be leash trained or in harness trained. Um, but we'll see how that goes and I'll definitely bring you guys along on that adventure with me and I'll vlog the whole journey. So hopefully that goes well, so wish me luck, I'm not sure. Do you want to be leash trained? Do you want to go outside? 
You could be one of those wonderful adventure cats that we always see on TikTok. You just want treats though, don't you? <laughs> He's such a greedy cat. All the time when we're in the kitchen making food, or if I just go in the kitchen for a glass of water, he'll be right behind us. He's definitely our shadow in the kitchen and when we're making food. And yeah, a very greedy boy, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sitting with a little box of treats at my knee at the moment because I wanted him to sit next to me while I was filming this video, but all he is focused on are the treats. And my hand. Sadly, there's nothing there at the moment. Will we give you a treat for being good? Hmm? It's in the middle of my hand. Look. You find it? Oh, good boy. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos of Thor in the future. And I'd love to get your input. What kind of videos would you like to see about cats or about Thor? And if you've got any questions about Thor, do drop them in the comments below. But that's all from me for today and that's all from Thor and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!